Oh, there are many levels of fascination uh, to, to study Planck and Einstein and their relationship. Uh, in the book I mentioned, they're, they're, um, almost a bit like uh, Felix and Oscar in The Odd Couple, because we have the very uh, upright and proper and dignified uh, German, uh, Prussian gentleman in Planck. And uh, with Albert Einstein, we have someone more loosey-goosey, if you will, and passionate and uh, uh, impulsive and um, uh, ready to be playful, perhaps, sometimes cruel. Um, and they had incredibly different politics. Planck was absolutely dedicated to his homeland, come what may, um, which has maybe tarnished his legacy when the Nazis took power. Einstein found nationalism absolutely revolting and he wanted a one world government and didn't really see himself allied with any any nation too much. But they were united in a great passion for searching for fundamental truth and they just loved this about one another and, and, and they played music together and these, these kind of more eternal ideals kept them together despite all these practical differences. In, in 1933 when Hitler came to power um, uh, Einstein was one of the first to stand up outside of Germany. He was in America at the time and sort of s speak to this new government and, and the horrors of it and what was going on. And Planck and other German physicists thought, you may be right on some of the details, but you're, you're airing our dirty laundry out of turn uh, and it's just completely inappropriate. And there was a real break in their friendship, some very poignant letters back and forth that, that we deal with in the book. Um, and they never spoke again. Uh, Einstein never returned to Germany. But he, when Planck did pass away in 1947, uh, Einstein then wrote on behalf of the National Academies of Science in America, he wrote a beautiful tribute to Max Planck. But that was the, the, the last of their, of their friendship.